We're looking at microbiomes, which are collections of um, bacteria that live together uh, with other animals like us. And I've looked at several of them, the breast milk microbiome, the skin of a poisonous newt, soil, all sorts of interesting stuff. And that work involves getting the, the DNA, getting the sequences for the DNA, and then developing and applying the right kind of statistics on really big computers to analyze it. The way we approach a study, like a field of study or a research or interest, um, is the same. He wants to get to the point, like a base of it, you know. Um, and I want to do the same thing. It's, it seems very different um, because what I'm doing is very abstract and then maybe not statistic based. But, uh, you know, trying to understand the humanity through my work, and trying to understand the culture through my work, or try, try to understand myself um, through my work. And I think he's doing that, the similar thing. I guess we met at that first uh, right. meeting at the Pritchard right. where I, I presented my work and I decided on the spur of the moment without preparing anything for that talk I decided to present it as a story almost like a science fiction story of narrowing down into smaller and smaller worlds that have bigger and bigger and bigger communities and then we met after that and we were talking she said this idea of interacting layers was part of her work as well and the concept we're trying to get at is that there are layers of interactions and the things which are in those layers aren't individual objects of a particular kind, it's, it's an association of things. So the story is one of mm -hmm. interacting layers, it's mm -hmm. not one of, you know, bugs and genes. And that narrative is going to give me the driving force um, to, to create a work. And it's very, it is very different from what I do for my work because this is like my work would be always me 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 but like it, this is more like try to understand what he's saying and um it, uh, it's just i guess a very inspir inspirational source for me to create work